Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a common challenge in the world of React Native development. Our viewer is struggling with integrating IE18NJS in their Expo app. The main issue? Components that require translations are rendering before the app has a chance to set the correct locale. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this problem. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy like me, and hopefully you find that resolution you need. Anyway, let's continue on. To integrate i18NJS in your React Native Expo app, we first need to ensure that we correctly initialize the i18N instance. This involves setting up the translations and determining the user's locale. In your i18n configuration file, you should import the necessary language files and set the default locale. Here's how your code should look. Next, we need to create an asynchronous function to initialize the locale. This function will fetch the current locale using Expo's utility and set it in i18n. In your root app component, you should call this initialization function before rendering any components that rely on translations. This ensures that the correct locale is set before they are displayed. Finally, ensure that your components are using the i18n instance correctly to fetch translations. This way, they will reflect the updated locale once it is set. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To integrate i18n.js in your React Native Expo app, start by importing i18n in your main file. Initialize it in the component's lifecycle method and manage the app's readiness state. In your component, you can use i18n to display translated text in the current locale. Just import i18n and use the translation function. Create an i18n directory with an index.js file to set up translations. Define your fallback settings and load your translation files. For translations, create a JSON file for each language. For example, in NLJSON, you can define your Dutch translations. Finally, ensure you have the React Native IATN package in your package JSON to use it in your project. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To integrate i18n.js in your React Native Expo app, check out this helpful resource. You can find the solution at the provided GitHub link. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. Integrating i18n.js in your React Native Expo app is straightforward. First, install and import the necessary packages.
Next, create an object that defines the supported languages and their translations. Finally, use the translations throughout your app wherever needed. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Bye.